And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's Chief Meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Anything on the radar screen right now, so clear out there. Even uh, western Wyoming, pretty dry for the most part. You get to the southwest quarter of the state, it's no doubt a different story. A lot of moisture over Wyoming. That's getting dribbled in from Utah. We're seeing some showers and thunderstorms over the higher train. And all this should stay at bay for the next several days. So. We're going to be dry. In fact, all of us will be dry at least through Friday. And then we'll start to see some of that work into East Idaho, Western Wyoming here as early as Saturday. 89 right now in Pocatello. I know that's very warm, but you got to remember just a few days ago, we were in the mid 90s at this point in the day. We're 87 right now in Idaho Falls. 79, comfortable degrees up in West Yellowstone. Salmon in the 80s, 90 though over in Boise and Salt Lake City, not quite as hot as they've been lately. They got some showers and thunderstorms in the area. Certainly some clouds around from all that. 61 and clear overnight. Almost as cool, if not cooler than last night. Idle Falls at about 52 degrees. Black that will see a low of 57. American Falls tonight will have a low temperature of 59. Uh, Rexburg around 54. Got that clear sky going, going too for the Central Mountains. Lows 38 in Stanley. No doubt warmer than that, thankfully in Chalice with a low there of 52. Salmon, you'll have a low of 50. And Arco, You'll be in the mid 40s again. That's comfortable, right? Should be cool at night. Yeah, when the sun goes to bed, it needs to cool off. Thankfully, it's doing that. Finally, clear sky for the highlands in western Wyoming. Lows will be in the 40s across the board. 40 for a low in Island Park. Staying one degree warmer, actually, in Yellowstone than in Island Park. Usually, it's the other way around with 41 for a low there. Soda Springs are around 48. Now, tomorrow, keep those shades out. Make sure you use the sunscreen. And, of course, as always, drink extra water, especially if you're going to be outside. We're in for another warm day with temperatures in the 80s for the most part. 82 in Driggs, Jackson around 82. Soda Springs, you'll be in the mid-80s, but no 90s. I wish I could say that for the Central Mountains. A couple of us tomorrow will be in the lower 90s. That would go to the usual spots. Chalice, yeah, you, you're going to hit 91. Salmon, you also see a high of 91, but not quite so hot in Stanley with a high of 85. For the Snake River Plain, more sunshine. Some of us, though, only in the 80s yet again. So, yeah, comfortably warm, I don't know, maybe... At least it's a little more comfortable than just a couple days ago. 91 will be the high in Pocatello, 91 in American Falls, St. Anthony looking at a high in the mid 80s again. Seven day forecast for Pocatello. We got a little warmer day, a little hotter day for Friday. We're in the mid 90s all weekend. Some extra clouds will start moving in. So that's some of that moisture is going to start working its way back into East Idaho. Some of that moisture could some, trigger some mountain showers and thunderstorms. So no doubt we'll keep a watchful eye on that. Idaho Falls seven day forecast. Well, we're in the 80s again tomorrow, so enjoy it because 90s are back and we're going to see 90s continue through the weekend into the better part of next week. For the Teton area, I mentioned that chance of showers and thunderstorms. That's not coming back though until this weekend, but it's still going to be really warm with highs in the 80s Monday. Staying with those 80s clear through Wednesday with a mostly sunny sky and for the Central Mountains, dry weather for the next seven days. Yeah, it'll be a little too far from that moisture, but maybe some puffy clouds around on Saturday with hot temperatures, mid-90s. One day out of it, back in the mid-90s, though, on Wednesday.